Hey guys, Gavin here, as you can see. Now I just wanted to answer a quick question and the question I had recently was what should my training be made up of? So when I go into the gym, what should I be doing? So it all depends on whether you're looking to lose weight or put on muscle, but let's assume that you're looking to lose weight as most people are. So the key thing is to once you get in the gym is to warm up properly. So most people just jump on a cross trainer or a treadmill and stay there for the most of the session actually doing it all wrong but I want to get warmed up so you can either hop on a treadmill or the cross trainer in five minutes or so but a better thing we can do is some sort of body weight circuit so it could be you know jumping jacks squats deep press ups mountain climbers those type of things just to get the heart rate up and get those joints moving from there I generally look at around sort of 50 60 percent resistance training so that means you're gonna to have to hit the weights if you're in the gym that is anyway, if you haven't got access to a gym then body weight training will have to do the job or whatever kit you've got at home. So whether it's kettlebells or a few dumbbells, throw them into the mix, they're going to get you better results than just doing body weight training alone. Next up, you want to finish up, you want to finish up with some sort of intensity. So I direct, generally recommend hit the training, so sprint for a minute, relax for a minute, sprint, relax, sprint, relax, keep doing that several times over or my more preferred method is metabolic conditioning so that's where you kind of doing a circuit but using heavier weights so maybe only a few weights I hope you can hear me while I'm doing this it is a little bit windy around here but those two methods either interval training or the metabolic conditioning work very well just to finish on a high and try and create a positive hormonal balance as you burn way I'd go about it. So you're looking at 10, 20% roughly, warm up. Another 50, 60% of the resistance training, and then hit the metabolic conditioning or the interval training by another 20, 30% and you're all done. So that should be your typical setup. Alright, give me a shout if you have any other questions on that. Catch you in a bit.